GPT 4o is not just about audio, vision and text. It is way more than that and in this video we will look at another capability of GPT 4o which is autonomous agent or assistant. Autonomous agent or assistant in simple word simply talks to external world and performs a task for you. In this video, I will be showing you how you can create an autonomous agent as a data analyst. We will be giving it our own custom data and then we will ask some questions on the basis of that data from that assistant and that is going to use GPT-40 to create data analysis for us. I have done this data analysis with GPT-3.5, GPT-4 of course and then Claude and few other models and I can tell you with certainty that by far GPT-40 is one of the most performant model when it comes to data analysis. Even the open source models like Llama 3, Mistral, even Mixtral, they really don't come close. So before I delve deeper into that, the tool which I am going to use for this purpose is the one which I have been using for quite some time and it is quite easy to use. It is called as FireData. FireData I already have described in way more detail in my other videos. It is simply a framework for building autonomous assistants or agents that have long-term memory, contextual knowledge and the ability to take actions using function calling. FireData allows you to store chat history in a database and also enables LLMs to have long-term conversations. But the thing which I really like about FireData is that it enables you to get LLMs to get working. It enables LLMs to take actions like pulling data from an API, sending emails or curing a database. So for the purpose of this one, we are going to use fire data to make GPT-40 query a database stored in CSV file. Without wasting any further time, let me take you to my local system on my VS Code editor. You can use any code of your choice. And this all code is present in FireData's GitHub repo and I will drop the link there. I have just changed it a bit just to suit my own purpose. Now, the data which I'm going to do an the analysis on is simply a finance data, a custom data, and I got it from net. So let me quickly actually show you that too, just to make everything in place. So this is a data which has some, some segments, countrywide, products, their sales, their products, some of the gross sales and lot of numbers there and it is quite a big file. So this is a file I'm going to use um, to do the data analysis. Let's go back. Now there are a few prerequisites that you need to do. You need to install FireData, OpenAI and DuckDB. DuckDB is an open source column store database management system that allows you to easily store and query large amounts of data. It is designed to be highly performant, scalable and easy to use with a focus on analytical workloads. DuckDB supports SQL queries and can be used as a standalone database or embedded in other applications. It is quite useful for data science and data analysis tasks and can be used in conjunction with popular data science tools like Pandas and Dumpy. So it is sort of uh, a SQL light for analytics because it is very easy, very flexible and I will also show you uh, how easy it is to use it in our purpose. If you haven't used it, I would highly suggest you have a look at it separately too. It's got a good uh, lightweight database. Anyway, so I will imagine that you already have installed these three. All you need to do is just you duct tb open a file data i already have done it on my this vs code which i am running on windows operating system another thing you need to do is to go to platform.openai.com and grab your openai's api key unfortunately this is not free so you just have to put in some 10 dollars or so to get your account activated and then get your key from there once that's done import these libraries once these libraries are done this is all you need to define your data analyst in fire data i'm just using their built-in library DuckDB assistant i'm specifying my model as gpt 40 and then i am saying that this is a table i'm just giving it a name finance and this is a description which i'm telling it that to the model of course that it contains financial data of sales and profits sorted by market segment and country or region 
and this is a path of that csv file which is on my local system it is going to build a column r database on top of it and then it is going to answer this question which i'm asking it that which products have the highest sales volume and revenue show me the sql so let me show you when you run it in terminal what happens so this is where i have run it on my terminal let me make it a bit bigger much better if i scroll up you see this is where i ran this command after installing duck tv the name of file is data data underscore analyst dot py so it is just going it, it it created the table finance because it wasn't there before and then it is just doing some of the sql stuff and there you go so it has just also given us its chain of thought the code that how it proceeded that let's check if finance table is there or not let's describe it and then you can see what it does in detail there you go and then it has created it uh, the table and as i asked it it has created the sql query for it and if you look at this data this query this is a typical data analysis query with all the sub queries and all everything amazing amazing stuff and then it has returned as the result here this is again it is breaking down the query too for you just for understanding and then also describing its chain of thought and there you go so this is the result here that this is a product this is a total unit sold total revenue and it has sorted it to how good is that and then if you scroll down this is your full query and it is asking me would you like to save the query to a file how good is that so let me try to ask it another question so let me comment this one and i'm just going to uncomment this save the file and in this one i'm asking it what is the total profit by country and product and i'm asking it to put it in the markdown format so let me make it bigger let me clear the screen and let me run that command again let it run it is working now as you can see this is all our chain of thought the profit column is a string and if i scroll down it is just writing it it is telling you that we need to clean the profit string by casting it because it's a string amazing amazing stuff so it is going on and on and on and because i have curtailed the output so it is not proceeding further there you go so i just stopped it you see that um it has really uh, proceeded well in this one this is it has produced now one word of caution here that this could get very expensive very soon because it is making an api call so make sure that you are aware of it and you have if you're doing it for your production purposes you do your cost analysis and if you want to do the cost analysis i have few videos already present also one of the good thing about fire data is you can use it with the llama for the open source um, models of course you would have to pay for the api call but you would only pay for the infrastructure i already have few videos around that so have a look at there and i will drop uh, this the link to this repo in video description so that you can play around with this code but amazing stuff this is how easy it is to generate to create data analysts or assistants or autonomous ai agents with gpt4 by using this fire data there are other ways too you can even use open ai's own functions to create these autonomous agents that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching